there, boys and girls. Welcome to Miss Edda's Academic Corner. Hey there, here's Judah Sr. and Judah Jr. They, yay! Say yay, Dad. Okay, so what we're here today to read to you a book. But I just want to say thank you, Judah Sr. and Judah Jr., for always coming and joining reading with us. Remember, now I know you don't usually see them on the camera, but they asked to be on the camera from now on, so they're going to take a seat because they want to see the book real close. Hey, right, guys? Yay, yay, yay. Okay, we're going to read My Dad and God, Are They Fairy Tales? It's a book by Mr. Wayne Connor, and it's illustrated by Jasmine T. Mills. Wow. So, Wayne Connor, that already tells us that the author is a male. Okay? This is, uh, I believe it's his first book. I had the pleasure to speak with him. So, we're going to be looking for more great books from Mr. Wayne Connor. So, what is this? Remember, when we get a book, we check out the front and the back, and we know that this is a soft cover book. It bends. And we look at the front, we see a boy on the front, and the book is for girls too, but the character, the main character is a boy. And then in the back, we see him sitting, looking up at the stars. And what colors do we see, guys? Well, we see blue, we see white, we see green, we see a little bit of yellow, we see all kinds of colors. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So now let's open the book. And see what does Mr. Wayne Connor say. Okay. My dad and God are they fairy tales. Now this is a question. It's not a statement. So we have to ask it like a question. My dad and God are they fairy tales. You see the difference? Instead of saying my, get, my dad and God are they fairy tales. That's a statement. But when we say a question. My dad and God. Are they fairy tales? Very good, boys and girls. He said this book is dedicated to the countless precious children and adults who've had to endure the pain of fatherless homes. The promises inside of this book are yours. And he dedicates it to his four children. And he has a whole thing that he has here. You can read it when you get a chance if you ever pick up the book. He names a number of people in the book, including his children, uh, his late mother, and men and women in his life. He mentions his lovely wife. Her name is Mother Sharice. That's what the children call them, call her their mother. Would you believe and could you believe that there are so many little guys all over the world who try to reach for the stars just like you? So sometimes when you think you're doing something by yourself, there's a lot of other people out there doing the same thing and even wondering the same thing. Wayne, Mama G shouted, it's bedtime. Wayne looked up from where he was saying his prayers to see Mama G at his door. Mama G? Yeah, it says Mama G. We know a Mama G. Yes, we all know a Mama G, but she's not that Mama G that's in the book. This is a different Mama G. Okay. Jumping to his feet, Wayne shouted, Thank you. Then he gave Mama G a big hug. Ah, he gave his mom a big, 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 big hug. You're very welcome, young man. But why are you so thankful, Mama G asked Wayne. So he said thank you for something. She wants to know why. It's a good question. It's good to ask your kids questions. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, because it was you who showed me how to walk, how to ride a bike, and how to pray, Wayne said. So he's thanking his mom for all the things that she taught him to do. That's real neat. It's always good to say thank you to your mom. 
That's right. I did teach you all those things, said Mama G. Wayne looked up into Mama G's eyes. Mama G, he said, sounding uncertain. I was wondering. My dad and God, are they fairy tales? Mama G chuckled briefly and then realized that Wayne was asking a serious question. What do you mean, Wayne? She asked. So Wayne is actually being serious. So Mama G realized that. So now she's asking him, what does he mean? So Wayne thought about his dad. He'd never known him, never even seen him. He'd heard a story or two from Mama G, but that was it. He thought of all the times he looked out his window, wondering if the men passing by could be his dad, trying to see if he looked like any of the strangers on the street in his neighborhood. All the times he wondered if one day the door would open and his dad would just walk back in like never, like he'd never been gone. So we know so far that Wayne is being raised by his mom, that he doesn't know his dad, and he's been wondering what his dad looks like and will he ever meet him. But no one ever came. No one ever told Wayne, I'm your dad. Wayne longed to meet him, but with each passing day, it felt more and more like the man wasn't even real, like he was just a story Mama had told him like a fairy tale, nice, but fake. So this also lets us know that everybody doesn't have a dad in their life. Sometimes when I pray, I feel God like God is not there. He's not here like, like my dad is not here, Wayne said finally. Mama G looked sadly at Wayne. Before she could answer the, his question, saw a shooting star out the window. Look, Wayne, Mama G shouted. I have a question for you, Wayne, Mama G said, wearing a graceful smile. Who do you think placed the stars in the sky? My dad? Mama G smiled again. In a way, they were placed there by your heavenly father. Mama G placed her hand on Wayne's head. So now she's talking about God as being the heavenly father. I know your father's not here, she said, but that doesn't mean no one is watching out for you. That's why I taught you to pray to the same Heavenly Father who put the stars in the sky. He is watching out for you always. Really, Wayne said? So Mom is, Mama G is explaining that the Heavenly Father is always looking out for Wayne. So your Heavenly Father, boys and girls, is always looking out for you. Really, Mama G said, could you and would you believe that just like there are so many stars in the sky. There are so many little ones who don't have dads, just like you. And could you and would you believe that just like you, they reach and shoot for the stars every day? And do you know that our Heavenly Father has made a promise to you and to each of those boys and girls, Mama G said. Hmm, I wonder what she's going to tell him next. Wayne shook his head. What promise? He asked. So Mama G was talking about a promise. Wayne is asking, what promise? See this, guys? Mama opened her Bible. Do you know what this says, Wayne? Mama asked. Yes, Psalms 68.5. Wayne answered with confidence. Close, his mom said. It says Psalms. The P is silent. So Wayne had said palms. 
So Palms, P-A-L-M-S, but it's written P-S-A-L-M-S, which is Psalms, makes the P silent. And it says, a father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation. He promised to be a father to the fatherless, and that's you. Your birth father may not be here, but that does not mean you don't have a father. And I promise you, he's watching over you. He's not a story we believe to make you feel better, but rather a force for good in our lives every day. So make sure to keep praying and watching, just like I taught you. See that, guys? Wayne thought about Mama G's words. It felt good to know that he had someone watching out for him. To know that he did have a father, after all. One who cared how he did and how and what he was doing and in his life. I will, he said. I will. That's what Wayne said to his mom. He's going to remember he's got a heavenly father. Mama G hugged Wayne tight. Would you and could you believe that you can reach and touch a star? Would you and could you believe that the Heavenly Father's promises are never, ever very far? If you believe and continue to pray, you will receive, Wayne. Oh, yes, you will have all you could ever need. That's sweet. Mama G's hugging Wayne. And that's the end of the story, boys and girls. So remember that there's always someone watching over you. At the end, there, um, the author wrote something that says, I wrote, my dad and God are they fairy tales as a message of hope dealing with fatherless homes and the traumas that children face. There are many hurting children and adults facing the exact situation. And he has more to say, and I encourage you to get the book. And if you can see, he actually autographed the book for me. And I really appreciate this book. And we look for more from Mr. Wayne Connor. So we know that God is not a fairy tales. See you later, boys and girls. Mm -hmm.